everyone! Hello everyone, it's George here from the Home Club. Today I'm going to be doing a guitar tutorial on how to play our song, Let Me Down Slow. For the people who know, we have two versions of Let Me Down Slow. There is the rehab version and there is the band version, which are both on our debut album, which is out now plug. Uh, go check it out if you haven't listened to it. We hope you enjoy. I'm going to teach you both of them. They're very, pretty easy. I'd say the band version's a little bit harder if you're sort of starting out guitar. First off, we're going to learn the rehab version. The chords that you're going to need for this song is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I'm joking. A, B, C sharp minor, and an E. So you're going to need an A, a B, But for the start for the verse, um, the intro basically starts on an A and moves up to a C sharp minor. An A is on the D string 2nd fret, G string 2nd fret and the B string 2nd fret. So it starts like that. And you want to do the strumming pattern, it's all down strokes. So you want to go down, 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 down. Pretty much the whole verse and pre and it breaks down for the chorus. So you want to go A, down, 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 down. C sharp minor, which is, well, I play the open C sharp minor. So it's 4th fret on the A string, it's 6th fret on the D string, 6th fret on the G string, and 5th fret on the B string. And then I have the E at the bottom open, so it sounds quite, it sounds more full. So you want to go also, down, down, back to the A. That's pretty much the verse and the pre. So it's like Heaven knows we're out of love And I'm on the point of giving up All this fear and war and love Why do we fight? Something ain't right So that's the verse. The pre is exactly the same, it's just Cause we don't really talk about that no more I do a little bit of a palm mute as well Just to like build it a bit more Right before you get to the chorus, you need to go down to the B. Which is the B chord right now. What I'm playing is the open power B chord, which is the A string, second fret, fourth, fourth fret D string, and fourth fret G string. And you just open that out as well. That's right before the chorus. And then to the chorus, just the four chords. And then you go A. What are you hiding? B. So I got the right to know. To the C sharp minor, which is the second chord. And then all the way up to the E. Which has very nice. The open E power chord. Which is 7th uh, fret on the A string, 9th fret on the D string, and 9th fret on the G string. And then open bottoms. I mean, you can open the whole thing, you can sort of just like slash at it really. When I get really into it on guitar, I'm like. So yeah, so you do that once around, you just strum it, open strum it, open strum the D, open strum the C sharp minor, and open strum the E, and you've got that, and then you start to build a bit more, the second half of the chorus. And I change the strumming pattern a bit more in the, in the part, in the post, I always go a bit more of like a... Back into the verse to the A to the C sharp minor. A. All the down strokes again. C sharp minor. B. Pre. You just know the four chords. You need to get the, the finger placement. It's also like the. I always do like a. Like a. Like a. 
sort of an arc stroke where there's n no fingers on the on, on the guitar and it's sort of like a just adds a bit more texture to it. So yeah, that sort of concludes the uh, the chords for the rehab version. I'd say that's the easier version. And if you want a solo, it's in E. If you've learned this version of Let Me Down Slow, then tag us in videos on social media. I'm gonna now show you the band version. Okay, so the band version of Let Me Down Slow. Um, there's a few of the same chords, um, but I play them slightly differently. This is like the slower version, it's swung, so it's, it's a different a different time signature. So the chords you're going to need for this version are E. Okay, E is second fret on the A string, second fret on the D string, and first fret on the G string. That makes us an E. After the E, you're going to move all the way up to a G sharp major, which is a very lovely. This is a bar chord. This is slightly harder than the rehab version. I'd say if you're a beginner at guitar or you're just Sort of just getting the hang of it. So that is, you're barring the 4th fret, and you're playing an E shape. So you want to play the 6th fret on the A string, the 6th fret on the D string, and the 5th fret on the G string. And you've got the bar chord there. So you're going to go... And then you want to move all of that down to an A minor shape. So you want to go 6th fret on the D string, 6th fret on the G string, and 5th fret on the B string. Bar in the 4th all again, so you just move from the E to the A minor shape. So after that, you want to go to the B, which we learned in the rehab version. So you can just use that little power chord that's like the step down. And then you go to the A. But then just to make it a little bit nicer, right at the end you want to switch it to an A minor. Which is which is basically the A shape, and you put your index finger on the first fret on the B string. So it makes sort of like a nice little change to give it a bit more, you know, to make it a bit cooler, I guess. Um, so yeah, the chords are E, G sharp major, C sharp minor, B, A, A minor. And it's just, it, this drumming pattern is just like a... Caught out the whole song, so uh, it starts off. basically goes through the whole of those chords throughout the whole song. It's again it's pretty easy once you've got the chord progression down and you know this swung. But it's just like a simple like it's a bit more moodier. You wanna keep going. Mm. To the minor. Spice things up a little, back to the E. Just make sure you get it down, keep practicing, that's the thing with guitar. Try not to get disheartened if it doesn't sound great at first, just keep practicing. I mean, I remember when I started out playing guitar, I was I was honestly dreadful. I'm surprised my parents let me carry on, because um, it sounded like a cat was being strangled. Thank you very much for watching, I hope this has helped you if you wish to learn Let Me Down Slow. If you didn't want to learn it, um, thanks for watching this video for so long. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe. Bye.